Well, let's uh, talk about uh, that situation in the litigation that is uh, really front of mind uh, almost every day. I, like you, read of another carrier who has shuttered their doors because of a nuclear verdict or the fact that they can't afford the insurance. And the environment certainly has changed, and there's a lot of different threads uh, that you could pull on to define that change. But, but one of the big ones, I think, uh, goes largely unnoticed or, or under uh, the kind of the radar. And that's, uh, I, I used to say years ago in preparation for deposition and post-crash litigation, that you really had to be able, uh, prepared to answer three questions. And it was, uh, what did you know? When did you know it? And what did you do about it? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, the complexity that's now added to that is the risk in post-crash litigation is what did you know or what could you have known? When did you know it or when could you have known it? Or what did you do or what could you have done? And when the, the, the difference uh, in those sentences uh, it seems subtly different with the word could, uh, but what I've found, and I will put it kind of into uh, layman's terms, so attorneys won't recognize the language I'm using, is that a path to punitive damages, which is what the plaintiff's attorneys are often after, they have to prove one of two conditions. That one, you're either indifferent to the safety implications of the choices you make, in other words, you're putting company profitability ahead of safety, or you're incompetent to uh, manage or lead safety, which is the requirement of people in the positions that many of us are in. And they don't care whether they improve, they prove incompetence or indifference because either one is a path to punitive damages. So, you know, the deposition, I'm sure many of you have been deposed uh, many times uh, in the past is, uh, you know, Mr. Osterberg, uh, were you aware when, when the scenario of the, of the incident of the crash is, articulated, are you aware that other carriers have made investments in safety technology, safety programs, and other things that have demonstrated significant improvements? If you acknowledge that you're not aware of that, they will color you as incompetent. If you acknowledge that you are aware of it, uh, they may co color you as indifferent because in spite of the fact that you know that there are proven technologies and programs out there, uh, you simply chose to perhaps do nothing which really uh, in this environment creates kind of an indefensible uh, position to be in. So there's a host of other reasons uh, for the litigation environment, but I think you get the gist of kind of what has happened uh, for a host of reasons and how we can best in action is really the antidote for anxiety in this space with nuclear verdicts and skyrocketing, skyrocketing insurance premiums. So I'm going to play a video here in a minute, but uh, we discussed a, a minute ago about the importance of uh, what did you know or what could you have known? Uh, and I talked a little bit about the deposition that can follow. Now, what you're about to see is a video that certainly could have been catastrophic. Uh, luckily, this is a carrier who had made an investment in what could you have known, and they knew what happened. Uh, and likely we're able to drill into why it happened based on the information that was available uh, through the program, video-based safety program that they had invested with. So, uh, Lauren, could you go ahead and play that video for our audience? And this was a, a situation whereby, and we talk about, uh, in this case, uh, autonomous emergency braking, collision mitigation, the technology that the company had invested in actually took control of the vehicle when the driver was asleep uh, and stopped what could have been a catastrophic rear-end collision. And through the visibility gained through the video-based safety initiative that they had, they can see uh, definitively what the root cause of the crash was, and they can take action on that to preclude a recurrence on a go-forward basis. So you get a feel for, for the importance of the investment and what it can do.